Hey folks, welcome back. This is going to be a quick video because it is very cold out. It says the feel like temperature is minus two with the wind. I can tell you it feels a lot colder than that. So this is going to be quick. I want to I wanna comment on a few things. Some of you are really surprised at the last, the content of the last two videos. Tell you the truth, I am too. I am. Because that's something I normally don't talk about. Now, without getting into too much detail, because I want to reserve a lot of that just for myself. And I have shared it with one other person in the YouTube committee. Uh, I keep him updated. And I've given a shout out to him before. So I, I sent the information that I received yesterday. Well, what I got, what I witnessed, what I saw, what happened yesterday with some pictures. And I haven't heard back from him yet, so I don't know if he has seen the email or the message or if he has seen it and hasn't had time to respond or is there's really nothing new to him okay I, i'm not really sure so there's one person that i am keeping keeping in the loop because he is a researcher and i think he's a good honest guy i really do so I, I, I want to say, folks, is there's been one or two comments. One comment I had to delete. The first one, actually, I had to delete. And it was commented in a couple of other comments nicely. And I agree that you do not... If you, if you see something like, like I appear to have around here... You do not want to chase it. You do not want to track it. You do not want to... You do not want to even speak out to it. You can speak out to it. I would recommend doing it very softly. Do not yell. Yelling, if something doesn't know your language, they can hear that that loudness and it can be interpreted as, as aggressive, right? So, the reason I know that is because I experienced that, folks. I saw something, I heard something, and I got a very good look at it. Back to, back to, because it was going away from me, right? I was rushing toward it, toward that area. And I haul it out to it. And folks, you have never heard anything make such a blood curdling scream in your life. If you ever hear it and it's directed at you specifically, I guarantee you will never, ever. Forget it, and you will never do that again. I guarantee it. So, just FYI, don't track it, don't chase it, don't holler at it. Even if you're saying hi, you speak softly, and you stop, and you don't take another step forward, folks. Okay? I'm just telling you that. Another thing is, a lot of people have asked me if I put out, they don't call it treats, what do they call that? They don't call it pr treats, they don't call it prizes, gifts, gifts. If I have had a gifting area where I put out 
I think that the big one people are saying is is marbles. No, I have never done that. <clears throat> I have never put out the wood screw is going back and forth. So if you hear a loud rumble, there it is. And they really should slow down a little bit. So, no, I have not done that. Uh, one, I don't have time for that. Two, I'm not even sure if I believe in that. Have I been gifted things by someone or something unknown? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Really pretty rocks. Rocks that I can barely roll out of my driveway. I definitely cannot pick them up. They're very pretty. I have had rock designs at the edge of my, my driveway. I've had a lot of things like that, but it's usually rocks, pretty rocks. They could be in a, a pattern. They could be in a pile. They could be what one looked to be uh, resembled a flower. Could somebody have come in the middle of the night and done that? Absolutely. I don't know what the purpose would be. No idea what the purpose would be, but it's around activity that I've had here. So those are those are those are two things that I really wanted to comment on. Another one was apparently they put off an awful awful stench. I I have not encountered that whatsoever, folks. I have not encountered a putrid smell, uh, decaying decaying flesh or vegetation smell. I have I have not had that privilege, I guess, to to smell anything like that. Maybe you might think it's because you haven't been up close enough to it. I've been up close enough to it, folks. I'm telling you right now, I did not smell anything. I smell wild, just wild. Could it have been because the wind was going in the opposite direction? Well, I didn't pay any attention to that. I just didn't pay any attention to that whatsoever. When you're when you're encountered with something that big and that close to you, you don't pay attention to the wind direction, folks. I'm just saying. So I know I've got a goose fight over there. I know if I was watching myself in a video talking about this and I didn't know me, I would have a lot of questions. I would have a lot of reservation and the accounts on some of the things that I could say and one, they'd be quite fascinating. You'd be awful intrigued. Some of it will scare the living crap right out of you. There is nothing about this being, folks, that I feel is harmful to me. This particular one. If it wanted to hurt me, it would have hurt me a long time ago. Do I think me running after it and, and hollering? Uh, I, I wouldn't recommend anyone do that, and I will never, ever do that again, folks. Will never do that. Did I feel threatened? Did it turn and come at me? Did it false charge at me? Absolutely not. I heard that scream, and you will never, ever forget that scream if you hear it. You just won't, folks. It's a scream that penetrates into every nerve in your body and it's ingrained it's embedded in your i can still hear it now if i close my eyes and want to relive that i can hear every i can i can hear how long it was i can hear the pitches i can hear the anger in it this particular one even though it appears friendly it does not want to be followed and I will never follow it again. 
so that's part of the respect things. That's part of me wanting to, not wanting to change my pants too, right? It is that loud and is that piercing and is that memorable, folks. Okay? So, beam me up, Scotty. I, I pinned your comment. You came up with the words, and, and so did John, Bama John, came up with the words that I was looking for in my last video to describe what I was trying to say. You both hit it right, right on the head. I appreciate those comments. I appreciate the support. I, I just do. Uh, Supreme Pizza. I'd say you've you've got a lot of information too that I I got to make sure that I read. And I do read them. I read them sometimes several times. Make sure I'm getting all the information that you're telling me. So what I am saying is my experiences don't match up other people's experiences. It's just like humans, folks. You have nice humans, and then you have the evil humans. That's the same with any creature on Earth, whether it be a dog or a cat or a bear or a moose or a whale, anything like that. You have those that are just downright angry and mean and want to hurt or kill. No different than us humans. I am fortunate to have one that respects me and I respect it. And I feel no fear. I feel zero fear. When I see evidence or I catch a glimpse or I, or I hear it, it brings a smile to my face because now I know that it's safe. It is still out there. It's still coming around. And it means me no harm. Is it a prankster? I, I, I can guarantee it's a prankster, folks, that likes his jokes. It likes his jokes. So without getting into any details, uh, there's only one person on YouTube that has all that information. And again, he is a researcher, one that I trust. Anything that happens, anything at all, I make sure that he gets that information. And again, I trust him to be discreet, which he has been. I trust him to be honest, which he has been. So, and I think he's a gooba. I do. I think he's a gooba. So, this probably will be, unless there's other questions that I feel comfortable answering, this will probably be the last video of this type. Unless something comes up, or unless you all have specific questions that I feel that I could answer. So thank you all for your support. Thank you for not, although you don't know where I live, but sending the rubber truck to me, right? Counting flowers on the wall. Remember that song? Thank you for not putting me there. So y'all be good. I am really cold, folks. And I am just starting my chores. So y'all be good. Thank you again for being here. Thank you for the support. Thank you for your stories. Thank you for the advice. Thank you for finding the words that I can't find myself. And uh, Bama John, thank you very much.